Welcome back, builders. In this video, I'll be taking you on a beautiful adventure ride to celebrate our Independence Day. We'll be rolling on a good old-fashioned, cheap, gas-powered motorized bike. It's in fact the same one we used last year to see if she can handle round two, a roughly 40-mile round trip. A little bit of a bike packing trip as we'll be doing some grilling, shooting off some bangers, and then shooting off some more bangers. Of course, I'm a little bit late because I had to work before, on, and after my favorite day of the year once again. So consider this the 4th of July after party. I know some of you might be thinking nothing screams USA like a bike and motor made in China, but for what it's worth, they might be made in China, but they're fixed in America. And speaking of fixed in America, this is kind of a trial by fire ride as I had to swap the motor out on this bike because the one we had on it for testing kind of crapped out because the crankshaft broke. So we hobbled together a little Frankenstein mess salvaging the bottom end of our original Phantom 85 that exploded and putting a YD100 top in on it with a terribly windowed piston and non-optimal reed setup. But it worked. Kind of. It had an acceptable level of jankiness. Perfection is not my strong suit. You know, since this bike had actually been sitting for a long time, it had about half a tank of old gas in it that I just filled up with fresh gas to top it off. Draining would have been optimal, but in case you haven't noticed, gas is rather expensive right now, and this is kind of a budget adventure. We therefore combined that old gas with a quick 10 minute tune on the carburetor and found it to be running okay. It pulls strong, idles great, but has really weird dynamics when it's running. A lot of four stroking that suddenly smooths out for no apparent reason, and I can't find an air leak. As long as there's no air leaks, I'm okay with it running like crap. So let's get on to the adventure. Day 1, July 3rd. Instant idle is usually a promising sign. Money don't grow on trees, but these trees are money. You gotta be kidding me. Well damn. That's annoying. So like well, the shackles out there. Yeah, but there, there was another one. I don't two. know what the hell they could have done with it or why. Yeah, I mean, the yellow one's down there and go look. sweating bullets. It's times like this makes me wonder what the keyboard warriors are up to. Started that easy. 
probably going to have a lot of smoke for a little while because as long as she sat outside with that gas in the tank, the gas evaporates but the oil stays in the tank, which I think. I mean, it seems logical. My headlights acting kind of funny. I go through a lot of headlights. I think it's mostly just the vibration from the motor. It either kills the electronics or it breaks the mount. July 4th. With the bike giving us no major issues on our trip to and from work the previous day, we deemed it worthy of this year's trip. I made a needle adjustment, I replaced the chain with a 415H, and I put on a spring tensioner. The old 410 chain was running just fine and didn't show any signs of critical failures, but it was a bit rusted and worn out. It had a lot of miles on it. Leaving in the afternoon for the night shift means that we weren't going to be able to celebrate until the following morning. But fear not, because the bike was loaded down with everything I needed to celebrate in my own way. The only thing left to do was to grind through a little bit more manual labor through the night so we could set off in the morning. July 5th, enjoy the ride. Alright, one more thing. Some of you guys might remember when we crashed this bike a year ago with the Phantom 85. That crash bent the left side pedal crank, which wasn't a big deal at first. But right before our trip, I added the spring tensioner, and the bolts stick out too far so I can't rotate the crank all the way, which makes for some interesting startup procedures. Luckily, this bike starts really easy, and the YD100 has good low-end torque. So we're not going to be pedaling really at all. This is a motor-only trip. And we're off! The bike is running pretty good. It's nice and smooth. got a good amount of power, which is a good thing because... I was not able to fix the pedal issue, so this entire trip is going to be throttle only. We got a beautiful morning to start with. This little bit right here will look familiar to you guys. We're going to switch it up a bit once we get about four miles down the road. We're trying to beat the heat. In four hours, it's going to be very hot. But I'm planning on being at home and in bed before that.
but we made it to our desired picnic table of choice and I've been looking forward to this all night all right so today is technically the 5th of July I know I'm a day late but that's not by choice that's just job schedule lack of energy and what I could fit in after trying to get this thing to work for three days so I got some fancy sausage slash hot dog things here that are cheddar bacon and these have been calling my name all night long I am so hungry Woo! we got onions we got relish oh god that smells good already we got ketchup we got mustard your basic American condiment and I even went out of my way to get the quality hot dog bun. They're the best ones I could find. Where's me fork? Oh no, where's me fork? I left it at work. I think I left it on top of the uh, microwave at work. Well, that's okay. We can improvise. Old Bear Grills to the rescue. It might not be a proper barbecue, but I tell you what, this smells like barbecue. Happy late 4th of July, everybody. In the meantime, a Coke, some cheddar sour cream lays. There's a few proper grilled onions in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. Big shout out to Mrs. Gunn or Mrs. Hover, whichever one you want to call it. But uh, she set these condiments up for me, nicely packaged the hot dogs and the buns, and helped me get this organized. A seemingly simple task that without her help I would be virtually incapable of doing properly so thank you baby mm. this tastes like I just went back in time to yesterday so for me I didn't miss the fourth it's right here oh god that's good <laughs> all right so by now you guys are probably starving and maybe you just came back with something to eat I sometimes do that when I'm watching camping with Steve and he starts cooking I just get so freaking hungry but you've had your chance I'm gonna enjoy this and we're gonna pack up and get back on the road
There she is, Billy. Iron Branch Bridge. It looks like we got her all to ourselves this year. We got some bangers for you guys. I brought my good microphone too, so you'll get to appreciate them in their full glory. All right, Let's do a couple of small bangers, a couple of big bangers, some go up bangers, and then ginormous bangers, starting with some freedom crackers. G10 Dragon Crackers. Oh. Oh. God, you feel those in your chest. Holy crap. Badoof. So, having successfully celebrated our independence, we hopped back on the bike and continued our journey heading back home. We found after checking our gas situation that our motor was consuming quite a bit more than I anticipated. Definitely a lot more than last year. I chopped this up to just not having time to tune it properly, or the bad gas, maybe a combination of the both. But other than that, the bike really didn't give me any issues. For me, I normally opt to keep my bikes running quiet, whether it's electric, even the gas motors get silencers, but this is the one day a year where I can justify heading out into the middle of nowhere far away from any people or property and making some noise. Unfortunately, at this point, reality kicks back in and I know I have to go home, rest so I can wake up and go back to work. But we did a proper fireworks display the next day, and I'll leave you with some of the highlights. So thanks for joining us in today's video, and until next time, ride safe.